Okay. Hey guys, so well, watching the world according to the Humphrey. Humphrey. <laughs> Chapter two. Reacting. Nightlife. Nightlife. For the rest of the day, I felt sad, sad, sad. <laughs> what are you doing? You look okay. sad, Humphrey. Golda Miranda said. Why is Humphrey sad? Why does it say lunch. Golden? According to the chart, like, it was her turn Golden. to take care of me. Thank goodness. Golden Hawk. You're not reacting. Never said, Yuck. She put on throwaway gloves and cleaned my potty board. I see. Changed my bedding. Gave me fresh water and finally, oh joy, oh gave God. me fresh grain, some lettuce, mm. and mealworms. Ew! Oh, wait, do hamsters actually eat mealworms? Uh, oh yeah, I don't want them. I don't want a hamster now anymore. I, I hope they're not alive. <laughs> wait, you don't even got hamsters mealworms. Like you got beetles. I know, but it's a mealworm beetle. After my cage was taken care of. I felt well enough to observe Mrs. Brisbane Ms. more Bane. carefully. Miss Brisbane is the Ms. teacher. Mack was tall, wore bright blouses, and Humphrey goes and to each shoes. people's houses each She wore bracelets okay. that jingled, jangled. She spoke in a loud voice and waved her arms and walked all around the room when she talked. Mrs. Brisbane, on the other hand, was short with short gray hair. She wore dark clothes, black shoes, and she didn't jingle jangle at all. Jingle jangle jingle jingle. She spoke in a voice just do you remember this jingle? And sat at her jingle. desk or stood at the like, when she talked. Dong. No wonder I was feeling dong. drowsy dong. after lunch. All that nice food and all yeah. that soft talking. Is that all this hamster does? Sleep? She asked at one point when she glanced over at my cage. That's rude. Well, he's turtle, replied Raise Your Hand Heidi. Uh, Raise total. Your Hand Heidi, said Mrs. Brisbane. What's turtle? Scream. You know, turtle. turtle. He sleeps during the day, said Wide Heidi. awake. I was wide awake now. Nocturnal, I squeaked. Hamsters are nocturnal. <laughs> oh, you mean nocturnal, said Mrs. Brisbane, almost as if she had understood me. She turned and wrote the word on the board. Can anyone else name an animal that's nocturnal? Ow, said Heidi. I think Ow. You your hand, Ow. Heidi. It sounds like Mrs. owl, Brisbane. but it's actually owl. But that is correct. An owl is nocturnal. Owl. Anyone else? A voice shouted out, My dad! <laughs> <laughs> My dad! Who said that? He did. AJ. AJ screams out a lot. Both boys sat at the table nearest to my cage. What about your dad? Mrs. Brisbane asked. Okay. AJ squirmed in his seat. Well... My mom always says my dad is nocturnal because he stays up so late watching TV. Yeah. Oh, giggling Gale and oh, wait, we're up right now. Uh, we're nocturnal. Yeah, yeah. Her yeah, yeah. Sometimes we are. She yeah. Said. Though technically humans are not nocturnal. I'm not nocturnal. <laughs> the Eventually, the class came up with more names of nocturnal animals. Like bats and coyotes and I don't even know what our class is. I thought about it. About our class always does Humphrey books sometimes. If she just looked at me, she would mm, learn a lot. But I noticed for the rest of the day that Mrs. Brisbane stayed far mm -hmm. away from me. And this is not our room. Plus, I don't even live here. We're all next to each other. She read a mighty fine story for us in the afternoon. We live pretty close to each other, though. Yeah. It was about a scary house. It only took me like one minute to get here. And yeah. A ghost. A ghost. A ghost. Ghosts aren't even real. Only ghost angel ghost and demon ghost. Oh, I had shivers and quivers. Oh my God. Shivers and quivers. Brisbane knows how to read a story. Her voice the changed. And her eyes got wide. <laughs> and I forgot about her gray hair and her dark suit. To speak the truth, my fur was on end. The story had a funny ending because it turned out the ghost wasn't a ghost it's at all. Owl. It was an owl. Yeah, owl. At the, at the end, end of the story, of this story everybody yeah. laughed. Even Ooh, Mrs. Brisbane. I was, I was beginning, beginning to think that life with this new teacher wouldn't really be so bad. Yeah. But I changed my mind when the bell yeah. rang at the end of the day yeah. and all my classmates raced out of the room, leaving me alone yeah. with her. Yeah. She erased Ooh, the chalkboard no. and gathered up her papers. I could tell that we'd be going home soon. Suddenly, I began to worry. Why? What if Mrs. Brisbane lived in a scary house? No, oh, you've been there before. A thumping ghost. You've been there before, Miss. Worse. What? What if Mrs. Brisbane had a Humphrey scary been pet, there before. like a dog? 
maybe no, she could have moved. As fast as I was no, like, my wheel. or maybe, maybe this was the one before, she, before Probably. Humphrey went to her house. Well, mm -hmm. you're on your own now. Or maybe said. this is the one you're thinking With of. With that, she closed the blinds and walked away. Claw, oh, it's so dark in there, Claw. No lights, the cleaner man's coming out. She left the classroom and closed the door. She left me alone. All alone in room 26. I had never, ever been alone before. Look at my eyes on the As camera. The room slowly grew oh down. my god. I Wait, are we doing the it? Times at this Max apartment. There were all these cheery lights. Oh no, as the room slowly grew darker. Wait, grew darker? Oh dear. During the day, I never noticed how the clock on the wall ticked all the seconds one by one very loudly. One, two, tick, three, tick, tick, tick. I was feeling tick, sick, sick, sick. Tick, tick, tick. I was feeling sick. Tick, tick, tick. I was feeling sick. Stick. Or ghosts. I tried to pass the time by writing in my notebook about Petarama and my days at Miss Mac's apartment. Writing took my mind off my jittery nerves, okay. but eventually my writing paw began to ache, and I had to stop my scratchings. If only I could run free, as I had at Miss Max's apartment. Then I remembered the lock that doesn't lock. It only took a few seconds to jiggle the door open. I skittered like across that. the table, lock on his cage. and grasping the top of the table leg <laughs> like tightly, I closed my eyes and slid to the ground. Oh, I'm not even tired. Freedom. I'm only just a little I bit. Along the shiny floor. But it looks like I'm really tired on the camera. I yeah, because it looks like... Actually, no. It looks like the our eyes got punched. Yeah. And the even though they didn't. I'm Wait, sure imagine a demon punch us. Uh, I heard the sound. Thump, thump, thump. thump. <laughs> really? Just like the story Mrs. Brisbane had read us. Thump, 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 thump. Closer and closer down, down the hall, hall. coming to the room 26. Then, Man. then rattle, Man. scratch, rattle, rattle, scratch. Thump, thump, thump. Suddenly, I longed for the protective cover of my cage. It's too fast. I yeah. dropped what was left of the peanut and scampered back. But when I got to That's the table, camp. I thought a terrible thought. I had slid down the smooth, shiny leg. Straight down. But how oh, was I going no. to climb up again? I flung myself bad. against the table leg, grabbing on and pushed up, up, up. Up, 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 up. But I had only made a little progress when I began to slide down. Down, down, down. down. I, I was say right back times. where I started. The rattling got louder. This? The sounds weren't coming toward room 26 anymore. They were coming in room 26. Just then, I in, a long uh, cord running down from the blinds. Without hesitation, I leaped up and grabbed the cord and began swinging back and forth. What? My stomach churned, and I wished I'd never stomach. touched that Wait, your stomach turned? Oh, God. Each swing, I got a little <laughs> higher off the ground. As soon as I saw the edge of the table, I closed <laughs> my eyes and dived toward it. I wouldn't do that. I slid across the table and scampered into the cage. What the heck is this? As I pulled the this? door behind me, I was suddenly blinded by light. But something had turned on the lights. Imagine we kept on looking and reacting, even though the videos wasn't going on. <laughs> but still. Just then, my eyes adjusted to the light, and I it's saw the thing. Happen. It was a man. Yeah, make sure you keep eye on that. Well, well, who have we here? Here. A new student. A new student. A new student. <laughs> The man was Attacks. smiling down at me. My, that was a lovely piece of fur across his upper lip. <laughs> look. He bent down to pee. <laughs> Wait, I look I'm like a bunny. I'm Peppa Pig. And who are you? <laughs> I'm Humphrey. Wait, look. And you scared me half to death. I told him. <laughs> and as always, all the people was squeak, squeak, squeak. I almost flew up. I'm George. Oh, you're I'm... <laughs> I'm I didn't drawn. scare you half to death. <laughs> I've just come to clean the room. Hi, I'm Peppa Pig. I come every night. Hi, I'm drawed. Yes. Hi, I'm Maud. This is, what, this this is what a pig's nose looks like. Hey, I'm oh, Dan. Right. <laughs> yeah. Mrs. <laughs> Brisbane came back Sorry. today. She's a good teacher, you know, Humphrey. Been teaching here a long time. How much do you have? I wish I'd had a good teacher like her. 
Oh, Say, I have it. Do you like music, Humphrey? Squeak, squeak, squeak. I tried to tell him I love music almost as much as I love Miss Mac. Suddenly, a song came blasting out of the radio on his cart, and he set to work. Sweeping, mopping, moving dust, dusting. But all the motto didn't just dust and mop. He stopped. Wait, like. This is when someone forces you, you like to dance. <laughs> Wait, no. This is when someone forces me to dance. I, 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 I am doing show. nothing, so I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Floor. I'm leaving. 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 All right, can we just play this song? Yeah. Okay. So much, I thought it might fall off. <laughs> <laughs> what, ten minutes? I'll show you real talent, Humphrey. Aldo Amato picked up his broom and very carefully stood it up with Aldo a Amato. Aldo was a clean guy. Fingertip. It wriggled from side to side, but Aldo moved with the broom and managed to keep it balanced straight in the air for an amazing <laughs> <long> <laughs> When he was finished, he bowed deeply and said, What the do you think? Wait, guys, I'm going secret. to join the circus. William, this is for kids. I know. We are kids, though. So. <laughs> Uh, do my mom just saw you? You know what, Humphrey? You're such good company. My mom just I think, think I'll make my dinner break with you. Do you mind? Please, please, please! I squeaked. Perfect. You realize my You realize my aunt watches these videos? You're a handsome guy. Her son watches our videos. These? Yes, these. Her son. I was gonna ask them how. How do you not know it? Of course, I hid it in my cheek pouch. Cheek Although pouch. Good for I'm you. Very sorry. Your sh Wait, it's in hot cheek. cheek. For a rainy day. Oh, this is my cheek pouch. Mm -hmm. Wait, how does it sound yeah. like? Oh, this is my cheek pouch. Oh, this is my cheek pouch. Wait, guys, look. Look, guys, can they? Can you even see it? This? Can they even see it? No, they can't. Ow, you're elbowing my leg. 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 Ow, you're well, a rainbow unicorn. His ears all flapped down. He's a rainbow unicorn. Hi guys, today I transformed into a unicorn. Yeah, yeah, I transformed into a unicorn. So we're gonna be reacting. Maybe you're just saying I'm not alone after all, huh? Maybe you're just saying Squeak. He understood. Aldo stood up and threw his trash into the plastic bag. Can't remove him anymore, Lily. Well, I've got a lot of back. other rooms to clean, mm -hmm. my friend. But I'll be back tomorrow. Wait, Riel, do you ever put on those stickle things on your videos? Aldo pushed his car Like those editing, editing, editing things. No, no, I don't no. know how to edit videos. I, I can only edit pictures for some reason. Plunged into the darkness mm. again. Aldo stopped. I hate to leave you in the dark, but if I don't turn off the lights. I could lose my job. He clomped wow. back across the floor to the window. Tell you what, I'll leave the blinds open a little. There's a nice light right outside your window. After he turned off the lights and left, I chomped on the lettuce I'd saved and basked in the warm glow of the streetlight and my new friendship with Aldo. Tip two, hamsters are not picky about their food and eat very little. Make sure to feed your pet a wide variety of tasty foods. Guide to the care of feeding the hamsters, Dr. Harvey H. Hammer. Oh, that was a guinea pig in my mind. Alright guys, the video is about to end since that video is ended. So, mm -hmm. bye! bye.